former President George W. Bush and his spy creation state cohort, former Vice President Dick Cheney, find themselves named personally in a lawsuit headed up by the former Salt Lake City Mayor Ron Rocky Anderson. Anderson, angered by the knowledge that the administration had wiretapped phones in his city while he was hosting the 2002 Olympic Games, Anderson said this is the first time anyone knows of that a surveillance state cone has been placed over a specific geographical area in the United States. Nick, he's pissed, understandably so, and here's why. In 2013, a Wall Street Journal report article, it, an article, excuse me, mm -hmm. came out in the Wall Street Journal about the FBI and the, NS and the NSA cone spy tapping the entire city of Salt Lake during the Olympic Games. They'd struck a deal with Telco Quest Communications for blanket surveillance, presumably because they knew that uh, foreigners from what the U.S. would deem hostile countries oh. were, were they've descended on Salt Lake City. They wanted to be able to listen to everything that they were doing and saying to each other. Um, and this is the first time that we know of that a cone surveillance over an entire area has been placed by the NSA. And this is significant because although Anderson can't leave, I don't know if you could legally sue a president and right. vice president, how much traction you would get with that, but it has us talking about, you know, the government and what they were doing during that time. You know, the, the very next day after 9-11, oh, we're on it. We see the Patriot Act pass and all of these horrific breaches in civil liberties go through without, without the blink of an eye. And here we are in 2015. We're still talking about it because it's still happening. Mm -hmm. But this man, I, you know, I'm glad for his outrage. I hope that he keeps it up. And um, hopefully he gets some traction. You, you can see this not going anywhere, getting bogged down in technical issues. Do you have the right to sue the president or do you not? Right. He's just some little mayor. Actually, he's a former mayor, no longer a mayor. But I'd be pissed too. Yeah, no, of course. I mean, and think about you know how often these things happen and no one's there to catch them and no one finds out. We just happen to hear about it this time because we got lucky because this former mayor is, is willing to speak out about it and do this, what to me seems like, a symbolic uh, suit. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. And that's perhaps the most interesting thing in this entire story, that you see a mayor, a former mayor, suing a former president of the United States. That's really a big, it's a big deal. I mean, it's not, you know, a little thing. And, and the fact that he's willing to do this uh, says a lot. And I, I think it's interesting, like I said, and who knows where it's going to go. I, I doubt it's going to go anywhere, Margaret, but, but at least he's got us talking about it, right? And, and, and it's uncovering this. But what, what I'm curious about, what, what took so long? Like, why did this take so long to finally come out? Why are we just not questioning the actions of the NSA? Or why this is he just lawsuit, not suing? This yeah. What, I think that this he's, happened at the Salt Lake City. He's, right. I mean, we're talking about the Olympic Games. We've already had another Olympic Games, you know, just, I mean, this, this has been arguably a very long time ago. I think that when the Wall Street Journal, when they did that article, and they really highlighted his city, clearly it, you know, it, it, stirred up some anger in him. You know, we, we ha we're having discussion right now, and it's a global discussion about how the NSA violated, you know, everyday American citizens, our rights, reading our emails, our, you know, going through our metadata in real time, our text messages, our phone calls, when you and I haven't committed a crime. Now, this is all alleged because obviously we can't prove it, although now in some cases we can, like now, because this giant telecom company, they struck a deal, and we, we've seen that AT&T has also done this and Verizon. Major telecom companies have been, you know, giving our records over to the government for some time. This man is bringing it up now, presumably on the heels of that article. And it takes some time to get a class action lawsuit together. You just don't snap your fingers and it's done. Yeah. Um, he said that he went to the ACLU and they replied they were, quote, too busy. Now, this is him saying that the ACLU said that they were too busy to help him. I don't know if that's true. He also said that he had this amazing summer clerk who worked around the clock with him to get this class action suit filed before the statute of limitations ran out. So the clock was ticking to do this. He decided to do it. And hopefully it makes people aware about the dragnet surveillance that's gone l largely unchecked in this country since these two guys uh, decided that we should have it. But on the, on the heels of the September 11th, on the September 11th attack, you have a big group of people all together. You can't, you know, not have any sort of security measures that mm -hmm. are, you know, secretive. Do you, I mean, no, you there, do. You have to have. You it. do have to have secret security measures. I would argue, though, that it is not only unconstitutional, unconstitutional, but unfathomable to dragnet surveil innocent citizens for over a decade with no, that's such a violation of, of the basic right of privacy.
Anyway, we'd love to know what you think at home about uh, former Mayor Anderson. Do you like what he's doing? Can you believe he's actually suing the president and the vice president, along with other officials? Log on, post your comments below about this story. Also about the surveillance state. We're apparently still in it. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel. And, of course, subscribe to the LibTV2 for more.